So back in 2022, alongside the iPhone 14 lineup, when it was announced, Apple decided to go exclusively eSIM for US-based iPhones that year. So here in the US, we've gotten accustomed to the eSIM technology, but globally, all other iPhones still had a physical SIM card slot and still had the ability to go eSIM as a secondary SIM card. But now this year with the brand new iPhone Air, in order to increase battery and give us the most amount of battery capacity in here, they got rid of the SIM card slot globally on all iPhone Air sales moving forward because again, with a phone this slim, every single milliamp hour counts. But this came with a little bit of backlash because people around the world, they think that the SIM card, the physical version, makes it a lot easier to switch between phones, which to an extent it does because you can just quickly pop it in and out depending on what phone you're using that day. And as somebody like myself who does test out phones on a daily basis or weekly basis, it was a little bit annoying to deal with at first, but eSIM is actually super easy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to switch from one phone to the other phone via eSIM and how quickly it gets done. Because again, it's really not that big of a deal to not have a SIM card anymore. In this video, we'll walk you guys through step-by-step step how to do that. So let's quickly just get that done. Well, all right, everyone, let's get right into this. And you can see I have both of my phones right here, the iPhone Air, which is connected to cellular data right now via T-Mobile. And then my 17 Pro Max, which does not have cellular data because my eSIM is on this phone right now since I was testing it. As you can see, just to kind of show you guys again, these are the phones that we're dealing with and I am running 26.0, the public version of iOS. But now this is actually extremely simple. So the way that I've been doing this is you grab the phone that does not have the cellular data. So again, like I said, 17 Pro Max has no cell data on it right now. You go into your settings, go to where it says cellular. And as you can see, there's no SIM here, right? It does have my phone number there, which is on this phone right here. I'm gonna leave it like that so you guys can not actually see the phone number. But all you have to do is press set up cellular. You tap on that, let it do its thing. And we're gonna press start here to see how long this actually takes. Cause again, of course it's gonna be faster to just quickly physically change out a SIM card, but this is also very simple. So it says transfer from iPhone, we'll press on this, transfer the number, then it says confirm transfer on your other iPhone. It shows up on this phone. Again, I'm on the same Wi-Fi. I'm on the same Apple ID. Then it says continue over on this phone. We'll press OK. And you kind of just let it do its thing. Then you confirm here. It lets it confirm itself. We'll press done. And then it says activating on this side, as you can see. We're not even at a minute yet. It's doing its thing. Let me know what you guys think so far about the iPhone Air content, 17 Pro Max. What do you want to do? What do you want to listen to? Or what do you want to hear about when it comes to the Pro Max version, especially as we kind of wait to see how long this actually takes. But now it says it was done activating. Now it's connecting to network. Again, very, very simple. Sure, it probably is a little bit faster to physically remove it. But then again, I got to have a SIM removal tool. I got to make sure I never lose it. I got to pop it out. Then I got to pop out that tiny little SIM card, which I mean, I haven't done it forever. And then boom, voila. So it took about a minute and 15 seconds to get this done. You can now see that on the top right hand corner, the bars are starting to show up. Right now they're grayed out because it's still finding service. You can see that it went to SOS mode on my iPhone Air. And now my main phone number, and now you can see that my main phone number has switched over to this phone. And if I really want to, if I just press on the airplane mode, this is a little trick that I like to do to kind of reset the modem and everything like that. And then boom, there you go. I have cell service, I'm back on Wi-Fi, and now my main phone number is back on my 17 Pro Max, and my iPhone Air has no phone number. So again, it was that easy between iPhone to iPhone. It could be a little bit different if you're going iPhone to Android or vice versa. Maybe we'll do another video like I mentioned at the end of this video, but, but then as you can see, I got a text message from T-Mobile saying like, congratulations, your new number is on your new phone. And I can do that as many times as I want without incurring a cost or there's no limit to it. Again, this is eSIM, so it should be as easy as moving the physical SIM. And if you guys have been playing with the Nintendo Switch 2, it's kind of similar to those digital games that you can kind of port over depending on the system. But that's pretty much how you do it, everybody. Let's finish up the video. Well, as you saw, it was extremely easy to get this done. It took basically less than a minute and 15 seconds. It probably would have taken less than a minute for you if you didn't have to go through speaking of the process out loud. But now I have my data going to my 17 Pro Max. My iPhone Air is now on SOS mode and only works through Wi-Fi. eSIM transfers are extremely easy between iPhone to iPhone. Curious to see how it is between Android and iPhone. Maybe we'll do a separate video on how to do that, going from Android to iPhone or vice versa. But let me know in the comment down below if you do want to see something like that. But so now you know that eSIMs are pretty easy. And yes, the physical SIM card might be missed for a little while, but 
moving forward, eSIM is probably going to be the way to go for most people. But that'll do it for this video. If you learned something or made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, check out one of these right here. Until next time, I'm Fernando. Peace, everyone.